I'm Lardo. And I'm Burley. And we're, we're the, the Moron, Moron Brothers. Brothers. Got a frog in my throat. We run over a cat going to Parson, West Virginia. Cat run out the road. Lord, I run over it. And so there's a house where we stopped and pulled on. I went up and knocked on the door. Old boy come down. But we run over a cat out here. Thought maybe it might be your cat. He's what he looked like. I said, well, he's about that thick. About that hey, long. don't do that. <laughs> no, I said, I said, he said, what you look like? I said, well, he's probably. Quit. Quit doing that. He said, no, I mean, before you hit him. I said. <laughs> Let's do that song. All the friends have got one. My wife wants one, too. A full-length fur coat and ain't nothing else gonna do. She says she looks pretty, and I'd be so proud of her if I just break down by her fur. Well, it's got me kind of thinking how I'm gonna swing that kind of deal. Ain't no way I'd afford it, and I'm too afraid to steal. But the problem saw itself one out like a boat out of the blue. Jumped right out in front of me on Highway 32. That big old German Shepherd, my truck he didn't see. He's up in dog heaven now, but his hide belongs to me. Big one. Well, I work down in the basement six months every night. Mostly trial and error at first, but I finally got it right. Wrapped it up in a Walmart bag, carried up there at her. You all seen him I light up when I handed her that fur. Wish puts on her new fur coat and hang from to her knees. But she'd been complaining lately, said her closet's full of fleas. She don't know that Fido is wrapped around her tight. She's really putting on a dog when she goes out tonight. been feeling kind of poorly she's not gonna run over that cat she gonna feel a whole lot better when i show her this new fur hat <laughs> 